<laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> I've got some new invention from Professor Kokichi Sukihara, which a company over in America is selling, and I just love his work. You'll recognize him as soon as I bring the first one on. This man is so ingenious at making ambiguous objects. They're not what they seem to be. So here's the first one, four hearts, and it's fairly clearly one, two, three, four hearts. However, when I put a mirror behind it and reflect, oh my goodness me, in the reflection, it changes to the four suits. Spades, hearts, diamonds, clubs, or whatever the order is. Extraordinary. And if I turn the piece round, you see it really does appear both ways at the same time. Extraordinary, isn't it? Just by the angle of observation, typically 45 degrees looking down, you get this amazing transformation. The halfway point is, of course, a complete mishmash, and there's all sorts of, oh, goodness me, ups and downs and whipsy bops and third dimension there to actually make the effect. Of, but see, I think this one here is a superb transformation. Notice also the heart, which is interesting appears the right way up both ways. That way it's appearing correctly the right way up as, and here it appears the right way up as well, along with the other ones, which are obviously as well. The only one that's, it's, it's, it doesn't matter, it's ambiguous, of course, is a diamond. So that's an amazing piece to get. And there's three others which he's produced, which I think are equally good, actually. They showed it, first of all, without the mirror. And we've got there, well, something quite complicated, isn't it? But if we make it a little bit easier, we just pull this up to here and you suddenly see it's a complete transformation into four quite simple little circles, little cylinders, empty top cylinders. And then they turn the other way into a mishmash of intersecting bits of cylinders, one in the center and the other bits on the outside. So let's so just put it back a bit, there we are. That's an amazing transformation. And the halfway point is, goodness me, look at all that, giving away some of the details of how he achieves it, but it's hard to make it out, actually. The third one he's got is um, a similar idea, but it's a nice, complicated, which we get it the right way around, that's right, like that. Intersecting squares. And then when you turn it around, you'll see that it's, it's, um, it's actually a, a lot of circly things. Isn't that astonishing? Are we looking on there? Yes, that's a very nice translation. Now for the last one, there's only four on the set that I bought from Pro America. He's done something completely different to all these geometrical shapes that he's so good at, and produced a figure of a person. And this one here, for the first time, you don't actually turn this by um, 180 degrees, or you can look in the mirror, you just see the back. What you're simply going to do is turn it very subtle, just 45 degrees, from that position like that, to that position like that, and then to the back of the figure, you turn the whole thing around if you want, and you get this wonderful transformation. So the mirror isn't such a help in this one, it's just, a, but I'll put it up just for a completion, to show the back and front of the figure, and it's a man with his elbow up and looking very masculine, and then a woman with all the soft curves of the, of the female body, which is beautiful, I think. So uh, uh, quite, a, quite a departure from his previous... Um, Ambiguous objects, this one. It's a, it's, a, it's a very nice one to have. I'm very pleased to have the whole set. In fact, as our, it's very hard to tell which I like the best. I think probably the hearts and the um, clubs, because he did show that one uh, in Atlanta um, a few years ago. And I thought, what a wonderful thing. I'd love to get my hands on it. It wasn't available, but now it is. So I'm very pleased with that. But I'm very impressed with his attempt at a different type of thing, where you turn just 45 degrees and go from a man to a woman. Tremendous stuff. Wow, that guy is an absolute genius, Professor Kukichi Sugihara, ace.